This video is made possible by all of my awesome Patreon supporters. If you'd like to consider supporting me and helping me keep doing what I love to do, check the links in the description. Enjoy the video. In the final years of the Third Age, Middle-earth stands on the brink of destruction. The Free Peoples are under threat from Sauron, the Lord of the Rings, who prepares his vast armies for war. At this late hour, the leaders of Elves, Dwarves and Men come together at the Council of Elrond to decide their next move. After the Fellowship is assembled and heads south to destroy the source of Sauron's power, the remaining leaders prepare for the Dark Lord's assault upon the Northern Lands. The elven and dwarven races have always had little trust for each other, but now they must unite and fight a common enemy. Rivendell is a hidden refuge and stronghold for the elves. Until now, this ancient city has been spared from the winds of war. Hello and welcome everybody to the Battle for Middle Earth 2 HT 1 or 1.09 HD Edition Good Campaign. Bit of a long intro on that one, but I thought I'd let us begin with that. So I just wanted to quickly tell you, um, I'm very sorry for the very scarce uploads basically over the past two weeks. I've just been, I don't know, I, I guess the best that word to say would be demotivated. I, I kind of did, didn't really want to do it, so <laughs> I was taking a break. And I was dealing with a couple of things as well, but anyways, um, going forward, uh, I want to let you guys know I'm only going to be doing one video a day, because I think that's what got me so stressed out was doing two a day. Um, so I'm going to be doing one video per day, but I'm also going to upload on weekends, so you'll have a video every day. Uh, so you'll have three less videos than you were getting two per day with weekends off, uh, but at least you won't have to go through a break without any videos. And hopefully I should be able to meet this perfectly because I can render while I sleep, and then I can upload videos in the morning, and uh, it should be all good. But anyways, let's let's get into the campaign here. We are playing on hard. You you might have noticed at the beginning I left that in, uh, with me clicking hard, just so you can see that I am playing, in fact, playing on hard. Findel must go to the house of Elrond and inform the Lord of the approaching goblins. Alrighty, we'll do that. Uh, so I'm gonna take um, heal first. The heal spell can restore our soldiers' health. Now I'm playing on a um, custom resolution setting, so like I've got the models super high detail, but I've got various other things that aren't as important, not high detail, uh, and so that we can see all the cool models with the HD edition. The game seems to be running okay. Um, we'll see how it goes when it gets to the later engagements. I actually did record this before once already, but the performance was really bad. It was lagging. So, uh, yeah, that's that's basically what happened. These guys should mop the floor with these goblins. Die, creature of shadow! Try and zoom in a bit. 
I know that I'm not usually very want to shoot, to zoom in. Um, I'm more of you know I, I see that I keep an eye on the battle because I'm a competitive player. But I mean that's the point of playing with the HD edition, right? Is to see all the cool new models. Goblins with their sweet shields. I mean, just speaking by the way it looks in terms of armor, the sword the swords of the elves like realistically wouldn't even be able to penetrate that like and with the, and with those shields as well like the goblins would actually probably kick the shit out of the elves but this is fantasy so I'm sure the swords of the elves can just cut straight through steel because that's the way fantasy works <laughs> yeah that's why I went for heal first because my guys are getting fucked up but they aren't really getting killed you can go for Elven Wood, and you know that can work okay as well. Follow me. We must be off. Your time is unmatched, Now, of course, this first mission isn't really hard. It's just kind of like here's how you play the game. Try to do a bit of flanking, but it didn't even matter. Now, what's interesting about this is these first guys actually don't cost any command points, uh, but the guys who regenerate actually do. <laughs> it's pretty strange the way that works. See, we're starting to get a little bit of, of stutteriness now. I might have to drop the quality down even further. I'm going to upload this one at, um, regardless, but... I might have to drop the quality down just to, like, high on the models or something. I guess I could just drop it down to medium. The models would still look a lot cooler just by virtue of them being different. Because um, I, I normally play on medium. That's what you guys normally see when I record gameplay of 52 multiplayer. <laughs> and then I play on low, generally, in Edane because the models of that are just way too many polygons. Kills the game. That's why the game runs so shitty. What brings you back so soon, Elf? They're approaching from the south. I sense this day is coming. Long has Rivendell been safe from the servants of darkness. Its sanctity must not be lost. Goblins, I'll take care of the filthy wretches. Yeah, sorry, Elrond, but uh, Gloin is, like, just way cooler than you in every possible way. Like, I'm sorry. It's just... Look at that fucking beautiful bearded bastard and look at the size of his hammer. It's fucking ridiculous. He will indeed take care of those filthy wretches. And you can do something interesting if you look at this. Oh, look at that! <laughs> As I said, I already played this mission, so... I'm not doing this one blind, but I haven't played the rest of this campaign in, like, a, two years, so... I, I, I don't like I remember more or less what's going on but I, that's basically it like I don't really remember the specifics oh do it Gloin do it yeah Woo! <laughs> I, I share um rude devils dwarf fanboyous boyness I, lo I love my Rohan, but if I can't have them, dwarves are dwarves are the next best thing. Hooray! All right, let's put the rest of the kinetic points into that. That's why I only built a single warrior, in case you're wondering. I remember making that mistake. Um, the very first time I ever played, I made that mistake of just spamming out a bunch of warriors, and then I only had the two archers and. It really bit me in the ass. You can also, uh... You can see what's... See what's going on. Now, there is some, uh... There's a bit of compatibility issues between 1.9 and the uh, AC Edition, so some... As far as I can tell, it's just... Uh, some ability icons are just missing. So, it's nothing game-breaking. Um... But I just wanted to explain to you guys why it, why it was that... Those were, those were black instead of, you know, the color they're supposed to be. Alright. No, my barracks! Ah. Oh. Huh. Well. 
Oh, I can't decommission. Poopy damn. Servants of darkness. Tried to get there fast enough, but it's pretty hard to save that barracks on hard. Alright, next up, Elven Gifts. If I had had, um... If I had had the Elven Gifts, then I would have been able to do that. Alright, get on your horse, get on your horse. Control 2, 1. Which is a subtle hint that there will be no, no more attacks from that direction. Yes, I'm aware of that. I remember playing this the first time, you know, not knowing the, the power of the units and what the balance was, and I was like terrified. I was sitting in my base like, oh my god, there's so many of them! And, uh, yeah, I, I really, I, I think I was playing on easy, like, <laughs> I was not the cryptic you know and hopefully love today. Um, I was I was a scrub. I was a filthy casual of the highest order. Okay, let's go and kick some goblin butt. Close the gate. Oh yeah! That labor action, baby. Ouch. Trample, trample, trample. You don't have any pikes, you freaking noobs. This is the way. Let us go. They do have mountain giants though. Trample resistant indeed. Not Let me show you. Let us go. Oh. Oh, careful though, buddy. Alright. I'm not really too worried about leveling up um, Elrond or Arwen. That's why I was leading the charge with Glorfindel, and previously I focused on Gloin because they actually are going to be important in the next missions, unlike the other two who don't really come back till a, a lot later from now. Watch for the enemy. Fill them with arrows. May our weapons be true. They are no match. All right, well. Let's actually use our heroes. Ow. Okay. Group up. Okay. That's right. Waddle home, Gloin. You don't want any of what's coming. Dwarf or not. Hope the lumber mill doesn't count. Oh, lumber mill counts. Flormendale's got this, don't worry guys. Alright. It's a worm! We must destroy it! I will be your guide. Vulnerability. Well. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want him going after my other stuff. If I keep him here, it kind of screws up his pathing. And then I won't lose any units that I don't need to. Uh-oh. The jokes. <laughs> oh, man, that was only 14 minutes. That was record time. <clears throat> now, one of my rules, since I'm only going to be the... Oh, I better shut up. There's going to be a cutscene. Rivendell is no longer safe for the elves. As time is now running out, 
Elrond forms a plan to unite the Elves and Dwarves of the North against Sauron's advancing armies. His most powerful warrior, Glorfindel, will join forces with the Dwarf leader Glory to make war on the goblins and forge this alliance. I gotta love Gloin. Uh, but one of my rules for, since I'm doing only one upload per day, I'm gonna try and do my very best to make sure that the videos are at least, like, generally about 30 minutes long. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be continuing on to the second mission here for you guys. I pass. Let's save it. As you can see, there's, I just did it a little while ago, but I didn't end up uploading it. Alright, let's continue. Taken the high pass road, blocking the vital connection between east and west. Here, Glorfindel and Glowin now face their first challenge as they battle to retake the pass. When you look up and there's a 20 foot monster standing above you. The attack on Rivendell came from farther north, but before we can track the Ingle to its source, we must clear high pass of the goblin invaders. I can do that. High pass is a dangerous place. We should build up a base before going any further. I. Must I can do that. Tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I know I play the fucking game. You don't gotta give me a tutorial. It's bullshit. Get off your horse. Nope. No more. No more stuffing things. Fuck that. Barracks is it for scrubs. Build up this land. Nothing over there, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> I like how this is just the high pass map with some mountains in the middle. <laughs> and a little bit of mountainous terrain, but you can totally tell, like, this is the totally the bottom left base, and this is the top right base with a mountain through the middle of it. We're finished with this structure. I know this okay, give me much to do. a barracks. And of uh, this. Oh, dude, look at that statue. That looks sweet. Okay. Take some Lorians. Let's throw up a. I think these are all just bonus objectives, right? Oh no, they're they're straight up. You got to do them. I wonder what happened if you did everything in the mission without building the battle towers. You're like, nope, you can't complete that mission until you make a tower. But I I, I killed everybody. Nope, you've got to make a tower. Rude Devil demands it. Fifty two developed by Rude Devil confirmed. All right. I need money. There we go. Why do I? Why? I don't. No. I don't want to. <laughs> it's a waste of money. I see the uh, 1.8 people still haven't fixed that. On the upside, um, as long as you don't do the objectives, it doesn't trigger like the rest of the mission. So uh, you can sort of like you know get yourself entrenched and everything. I will put a couple towers down because I think they do send occasional attacks, but that should that should be all the defenses I really need. Uh, Glorfindurp, I think I will have you lead the Wind Riders, or the, uh, the Lancers. Oh yeah, let's have a look at the new Rivendell Lancer model, shall we? Oh yeah, look at that! Looks like the ones in the film. Looks pretty good! Alright. Hop in there, Galathrim. 
because you're totally under control of Rivendell for some reason. You gotta love that. Like, Rivendell's under attack and a bunch of Lorian archers are just hanging out. Like, oh. And swordsmen, too. Don't forget about them. Um, I don't need to upgrade the barracks because I can't get Mirkwoods and it would be a massive waste of money. Oh my god, shut up. I know how to play the game. Alright, control two, control one. And I'm out of command points, so... Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, heroes, go. Oh, wow. How many objectives did I complete there? It, that was a lot. Like, that was a lot of objectives. Oh, laddie! Ugh. I guess I could also just be a cheesy bitch and make some walls. That's what the pros do, right? They make walls. Uh, actually, no. Let's do this intelligently. Um probably be cheapest to do it from here because it only costs 70 if I do it from there cost 700 if I do it outside it better be important casing vines please can I upgrade my units oh I can dude just completely overlooked that. Ah! <laughs> Are those some goblin archers? I smell there, laddie. For the king! For the king! Yeah! I guess I don't have any objectives. You can generally level your heroes up two times per per level. Um, so that's kind of like the goal, I guess. Alright, let's see here. I gotta go there. Actually, hold on. Uh, let's do... I want to do that. And then... There. And then... Oh! More goblins coming. As long as I ask you to. Yeah, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. It's just goblins. God. Aim that poorly. It's not like Wizard Blast. You have to uh, you have to aim for the enemy you want to hit. La 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 Alright, upgrade it again. And that's all my money gone. Uh, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up now! gate there. Then I'll open the gate. Open the gates! But yeah, I don't really think I need archers for this. Um, I need stuff that's tanky. Because uh, there's assholes that just come out of nowhere and fuck with you, so. Uh, let's also put another gate here. So that I don't have to run all the way around. Ugh. But, in the meantime, you are on the other side of the wall. Open it up. So yeah, this video is going to be a little longer than what I'm going to normally aim for, about 30 minutes. But I think that's a good way to open a series. And I'm having a good, I'm having a good time, so why not, right? 
Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. I'm obviously going to play the um, campaign quite a bit differently from what you would expect from me playing multiplayer because, you know, the AI plays a lot differently than an intelligent, you know, human being would play. I don't know hit that one, I guess. For the king! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> And this is supposed to be hard mode. And you call yourself a hard mode. Alright. Have I researched? No, I didn't. Okay, banners and armor, I guess. Uh, and then I'll need... Oh, I already got it. Basically, my plan is to fully upgrade my melee and my cav components, and then I'll ride out. See, what, see, what's, see, what's, see what's going on. See what's good. Now, if I recall correctly, a mountain giant causes a pillar to collapse over here. Uh, it's quite a long time since I played this mission, though, so... We'll see how correct my assessment of that is. At least I'm getting a little bit of money coming in now. And know, battle towers are fucking expensive. It's time to build. I have feelings in wise. Although I guess uh, this isn't massively different from the way I would normally play elves. I would, I would obviously be super aggressive in the early game, try to fuck with people's farms, but then I would focus on getting a good defensive line of towers and statues. <laughs> These random stutters are not great, because <laughs> elven towers and statues are pretty potent, especially if you get silver for ones. Obviously, it'd be good to just have them to fall back to, basically. We have the forge blades. Nobody cares. Well, I shouldn't say that. Yes, I do, I do care. Man, come on, game. You can do it. I believe in you. Six hundred for silver phones. That's so fucking broken. All right. I don't even think I need to upgrade this because I think it's gonna one shot on upgraded goblins, anyways. But. I'll grab it just to be safe. I, I do want to keep Glorfindel up here. Uh, I'm hoping for one more goblin attack to come from somewhere. And then I can level him up. While I continue to, you know, do this stuff. And I get in there. Two hundred for silver thorns. That's so broken. Oh, okay, they're coming. I know these spots. Here. All right, hop back in there. Hurry. Evil has spread across these lands. We must stand against them. Show them their graves. All right, that doesn't give them an AOE. It's just a really good. So it makes him invulnerable for 10 seconds. Oh, the damage boost only lasts 10 seconds too. That's kind of lame. Wind Rider is definitely better. 40 spent speed, double armor. We must protect the woods. All right, I want to upgrade my cavalry next. You guys, take that and that. And this in a second. Savages. Their evil ends here. Remove the evil. They have no place here. You can't really animation cancel anymore. I think they fixed it. Bring down these walls. Uh, you can Their sort of do it. I don't think that actually speeds we it up at all, though. Alright, mount up. Uh, cavalry. Keep your wits about you. Keep your wits about you. Here, uh, here we go. Ready, elves. Um... I'm toying with the idea of actually bringing the archers with me. Building materials. This way. 
I'm also toying with the idea of just deleting these. Ah, well, they're about to level up. Because when you have more Malorn trees, it causes them to actually, the good ones to produce less. So it, it's questionable whether it's actually worth it <laughs> sometimes. There's a nice big open area down here for a tree, though. Oh man, that's still only get me 70%. Evil has spread across these lands. just twisting my arms. I'm ready. Our fair city grows larger. Building supplies coming. The fighting has begun. Stand fast. Dude, look at them. Check out those sweet spears. They look awesome. HC edition for the win. No. No, that's a bad goblin lair. You're not allowed to do that. It'll be right. It'll repair itself. Here, throw some water on it. That'll fix it. There we go, and level five Glorfinder. Alright, can't afford to replace this for a while if it dies. Uh, let's do delayment strategies. Let's kind of slowly progress forward a bit. Let's go see if I can uh, progress up here. I think I think I'll get that giant to knock down the ice tower. I've never gone just straight right before, though, so I'm kind of curious to see what would happen if I didn't go north, but whatever. Fuck it. I know these parts. Follow me. We must stand against We must be off. As for attacking the city. Yeah, he's going to knock that over. This is the way. Okay. We have a new structure. We'll meet back at the ice tower. It's collapsing. You know, I might actually be able to run by that if I really wanted to. <laughs> Wonder what would happen to the mission. Yeah, because you totally, totally couldn't just hop right over that, like that. You know that. That's totally, it, or just squeeze through that crack right there, which is more than big enough. Anyways. Uh, level them up. Good, good, good. That's just good. Oh, I got a little fucked up. Those archers. I think it must have been archers. Who else could it have been? It couldn't have been anyone else. It just couldn't have been. Alright, Gloin, lead the elves into battle. Uh, give me a mirror of Galadriel. Oh, boy. And a statue in front of the sat. So if I ever do get driven back, I've got somewhere to hang out. Fourth Elflingus. It's just, it's just not the same. Women want him, men want to be him. What, what now? What now? Oh, that should be fine. Stupid cunts. Group up, come on. Trying to heal you. Move along. All right, I think our base is safe, so let's grab these archers. Upgrade those just in case. We must protect the woods. Ready elves. And let's bring them up to join. I couldn't remember for sure if the AI sent any attacks against your base beyond like the goblins. I, I thought that I might have remembered maybe like you know mountain giant attacks or something like that. 
So I, I want it to be safe, but I, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I'm probably going to get hit by like 17 mountain giants now and just be like, fuck! But I, you know, I, I think we're okay. It's so sad. Half the time the battle's over before Gloin can get there. <laughs> because he's such a slow little waddler. You know, his, uh, his right arm there is... His right arm's a little fucked. Anyways. Let's go, laddie. Oh, this would be prime. Oh, wait. I forgot something up there. Oh, okay. Alright, Haldir. Okay. Is this a fucking pro cave here? Can Haldir die? No, he's invulnerable. We're good. Let's wait for a minute. Upgraded cavalry. Thank you. Alright. Oof! <laughs> Man, that poor goblin. He's getting lacerated. Alright. Grab the money because we totally need that. Uh... Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it! Alright, there we go. And just because we are filthy, stinking rich. Oh, so how the hell did they see that? You'd think they would trigger that when you got, like, around here, so you at least have some sight range, potentially, of it. We must gather our strength. Ride with the wind. Stay quiet. Aldir is in great danger. We must rescue him. He'll be fine. Level 8 Haldir. Haldir! I'm just gonna put you on full mode. Oh, fighting somebody. He doesn't quite have his golden arrow, but my god, is it going to wreck when he di when he gets it. How's that going to affect the balance, man? That's going to be insane. I don't know if you guys know how good golden arrow is. I don't know if I uploaded any games of it or not, but it is amazing. Oh, hey. Free warriors. Something is a foul. Oh, dear. Let these stuff over here. Let's go look. Ten points. Hold oh, Tom Bombadil. That's not even a choice. All right, let's rest for a moment. Let's rest and recover our strength. Okay, that's two goblin caves down. Need to kill another tunnel. Fly. Another tunnely tunnel, son. I sense a dark <laughs> it's the most random Haldir ever. I, I will guard, I'll Pretty sure when I first played this, I didn't even really know who Haldir was, so I was just kind of like, meh. But now that I do know who he is, it's pretty goddamn hilarious. Why would he be here? And how did he get from High Pass down to meet the Fellowship in time? Man, why didn't we just come through and clear this out for the Fellowship before all the bullshit happened? That would have made things so much easier. Okay, 
Thanks, Jigaloin, laddie. Uh, I'm still getting shot from somewhere. Not anymore. What? 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 Alright. Let's go kill this fisher. This mission is basically... <laughs> this mission is basically here... This mission is basically... This mission is basically... Here's all the goblin buildings. Here's what they do. Kill them. That's what this mission is in a nutshell. It's, it's literally just an extended tutorial. It's kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> because that's why there's a tutorial. I've always hated when games like games do that. But I guess a lot of people don't bother with tutorials because they're idiots. So they, they kind of have to. Otherwise, they'd be, everybody would be like, Oh, this game's too hard! This generation is pathetic. Everybody's a bunch of wimps. <laughs> Two spider riders. What the hell is that going to accomplish? Oh, they do look awesome, though. Look at that. I love the goblin model. It looks so good. Now, I can uh, please you evil lovers out there, because I will almost certainly be playing the evil campaign. Uh, the only, the only uh, places I'm really, like, you know, it really hurts my heart to destroy are in the south. So, I'll play the evil campaign. We'll kill some elves. And hopefully I can be reasonably enthusiastic about it. Ah, the fire arrows. We must gather our strength. Fly. This is the way. I don't even need Tom Bombadil. Man, remember when I said, what are those guys going to do? I think they just proved me wrong. They just tanked everything. They tanked the world. Pretty sure there's a big old battle in the north here. The whole base up there. Okay, destroy that. Bloin laddie. Go and slam that tower. Slam it with your bloody hammer. Loin, when you want maximum overkill. <laughs> well, that was lucky. Kill it! I like how Gloin just knows it's a watcher, too. It's like, yeah, yeah, we, you know, come across them before. No big deal. They're fucking killing my archers. Oh my god, they actually killed them. I'm pissed off now. Now you pissed me off. No! Why is it so tanky? Oh! That did quite a bit of damage. Well, this is going to take a while. Now, there, get over here and give your damage, damage leadership. Oh, I can't believe they killed one of my archers. There was like three spider riders, for Christ's sakes. And it killed a whole battalion of archers. He's uh, he's very eager. And this one random horse. 
He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna stand here on this hill. I don't need to be with my my people, my battalion. Oh my God! Hurry up! Stupid free swordsman I got. Taking up my goddamn command points. I looked around for a um, expanded command point limit mod for the campaign, but I, I couldn't find one. Because I wanted to have, you know, more troops. Fight more enemies as well. Especially on, like, Erebor. That would be awesome. Are there any troops left? I don't think so. I think this mission is done. Oh, alright, well, let's finish it with a Shatterhammer Laddie. Or Shake Foundation Laddie. That tickles. Stop it. He's not even dealing any damage to me. Holy crap. His hammer looks quite a bit. That sweet central spike to it, too. It's pretty awesome. And then slam it, laddie. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I just realized I had the music down. I could have had it up. The music can bit me, too. is copyrighted. Fuck! I shall have to turn that up a little for the next episode. With the Goblin Army chased from High Pass, Elves can now travel to the lands beyond the Misty Mountains. It's like, over this hill, there's a massive fortress. <laughs> and if you look to your right, you'll see an army of 10 million goblins. We're all going to die. Uh, <laughs> Pretty good KDR, killed 700 Goblin warriors. Alrighty. Well, that's going to wrap this one up here. So, uh, once again, I do apologize for the lack of uploads, um, but I've got myself sorted. I've got out of the funk, I suppose you could say. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your viewership. Drop a like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Help my channel grow. Help me sustain myself. Check out my Patreon and my Steam group. Links are in the description. And until the ne next time, as always, stay awesome.